anybody put anything back where it belongs in this house? What are you looking for? I'm looking for the remote. I'd like to watch the news, if that's all right with you. What's Todd done now? He laid a big fat kiss on Evangeline Williamson. That's what he did. Mom? Dad's with Evangeline now? Did you drop Jack at his play date, sir? Yeah, I did. Now, is Dad hooking up with Evangeline? Oh, I hate that expression. Hooking up? I don't know what your father and Evangeline are doing. Well, you said that he kissed her. Did you see it? No, no. Thank God, I bet I did over here. Um, Christian tell Antonio. But Christian is Evangeline's boyfriend. Well, not anymore, I guess. Well, maybe it's a lie. Well, apparently not. Evangeline confessed to it. Well, this sucks. Um, sometimes, Star, uh, a kiss is just a kiss. <gasps> Do you think I'm four years old or something? Bob, did you ask Dad about it? Yes, and he admitted it, but he didn't say that he and Evangeline were really, you know, together or anything like that. Oh, good. Don't get your hopes up, sweetheart. Well, it just seems like you are very jealous of Evangeline, which makes me think that you still care about Dad. Well, I, I don't. Okay, I'm, I'm going to call Dad and ask him to tell me the truth, and then I'm going to tell him that Evangeline is a very nice woman, which means that she is completely wrong for him. Well, I don't think that's going to work this time, because he turned to her when he needed someone. Why? What happened? Dad found out that the little boy that he had with Margaret is dead. I have another brother. I'm going to deal with that, too. Yeah, well, so is Dad. Everybody's really sad about this. You know what? Maybe that's the reason why Dad's going around kissing people that he doesn't love. You have to explain your father to me. Okay, well, I'm just trying to explain the situation, so could you stop being a bitch for a second? Wait a minute! Well, th th that is way out of line. Do you understand? You are not to talk to your mother that way. Not in this house. Look, I'm sorry, Aunt Dorian, but my mom needs to know that she's the reason why all of this is happening, no matter what she says. Wait a minute, Star. Hey! That child should be grounded for a really long time. She'd just find a way out of it. Where do you think she's off to? Probably running to that boyfriend that we've forbidden her to see, or she's running home to her daddy. We both try to... She never seems to give up on trying to get her dad and me back together. Well, after all, you are her parents. But I thought I made it very clear this time that it was over. This time and every other time. <sighs> Don't start. Well, Blair, I mean, you tell the child one thing, and then you go on a rant because Todd kissed well, another woman. I wasn't woman. ranting. Whatever it was, it gave Star hope. Well, I don't want him back. I don't. Oh, sure. I just think it's tacky that he goes chasing another woman so soon. Well, That's you did all. say that he wasn't himself, that he was grieving for the death of his child. Yeah, yeah. Why are you defending him all of a sudden? Well, I'm just thinking maybe you were just a bit hasty ending things with him. I had to. I just didn't expect him to go fall in love the very next day. Yeah, it must be really irritating to have him take you at your word. You know what? I'm not going to talk to you about this anymore. All right. Whatever. Oh, I don't want ever me. I'll whatever you if I want to. Oh, God. Why uh, were you so anxious to watch the news? Well, I thought that I would check to see if there was anything new on Spencer's murder oh, investigation. The point is justice has been done. Somebody took a pair of scissors and stuck them into his cold, dark heart. Hey, 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 hey. What's that all about? Oh, I'll get it. Why, Lieutenant McBain, what can I do for you? 
You're under arrest. What? <laughs> you must be joking. Do the handcuffs make it more real for you? I suggest you get a coat. Blair? Police state, how dare you drag me out of my home? I demand to see my attorney. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. You have not read me my rights. You're a very smart lady. I'm sure you know what they are. Then that means that you have to let me go. Actually, I don't. I will tell you, though, when one of the phones frees up, we'll let you make your call. But you've got a phone. Yeah, but I have a lousy rate plan. Smile. What the hell do you think you're doing? You've been so charming, I just want to save this for posterity. That's all I needed. What? How dare you? I did not murder Spencer Truman. I never said you did. Wait a minute, you come back here. You're going to pay for this! Oh, Blair, honey. Did you post my bail? Oh, I can't. Why not? It hasn't been set yet. It is absolutely medieval. I mean, I'm telling you, that accident must have knocked a few screws loose in John McBain's head. Dorian, you know he's not the kind of cop who arrests people for no reason. Oh, since when? What's he have on you? What'd you do? Are you suggesting that I murdered Spencer Truman? I'm not suggesting anything, but you know what? I'm asking. Yeah, I would do just about anything in the world for you. But I did not murder Spencer Truman. Well, I had to ask. Good, now that we've got that solved, why don't you just help get me out of here, please? Hmm. You know what, I'll, I'll see if I can find Bo, okay? Good, good, go right over John McBain's head. Now that's <laughs> thinking like a Kramer line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wait a minute, wait, wait. Something I forgot to tell you. It's really important. I mean, I'm so busy defending myself, but when John brought me in here, he, he, he took a picture of me with his cell phone. Yeah, and um, when I said that I hadn't murdered Spencer, he said, Oh, I didn't say that you did. Hmm. That's strange. This has been a very strange day. So please, honey, will you get me out of here before something else happens? Okay. Is that a picture? Yeah. Huh. Oh. Who are you? My name's Miles Lawrence. You knew my brother, Mitch. I thought it was time we met. <laughs> 